Okay, so we've got our function here, and I've obviously rewritten it then as y equals, and we've got to find an expression then for f inverse x. So um, I want to get x equals. So when you've got this situation like this with a fraction and x is on top and bottom, um, the way to rearrange this actually goes back to GCSE work. You've just seen this at GCSE. And you see this fraction here. Well, let's, let's sort of get rid of the fraction. This bottom, you know, this denominator, let's take it over to the other side and times, okay? So if I take it over, um, obviously I'm going to times it by the y that's already there. Okay, and the key is then, of course, you, you take it over, but the key is then is to multiply this out to start with, okay? Get rid of the bracket there because we want to get the x's together and they're not at the minute, they? you've got an x term here and an x term there. So if I, if I expand the bracket, I get 7y, um, y times 7, 7y, and then y times that will be minus 5xy. And then on the other side, then I got 4x plus 3, okay? So the idea is then to get the x's, group them together, okay? So I'm thinking here, uh, we've got 7y there, yeah? Well, if I take that 3 over this side, I'm thinking, um, because then I've got 4x here, and I can take that minus 5xy over there and become positive. And if you notice, the, the reason for doing this is it's getting the x terms together. And it's nice in this case because they, they're positive, but it doesn't matter what, what you get. Um, we've got negative 3 then when we take that over here. So to get the x is together is one thing. And then you've got to appreciate then, well, I need to get x equals. So I need to sort of somehow um, sort of get these together somehow. But you can't add them because they're different terms. You've got a y there. What you can do, of course, is you can factorize, can't you, this right hand side. So you can take out an x, okay? If you take, factorize out an x, so of course x times four will give me four x, and x times five y will give me five x y. So you get that there. And then to get x on its own then, you just see then, well I've got this here, so take it over, so I'm gonna divide, okay? I'm gonna divide and I've got my x there. So my inverse function is, 7y, 7x rather, in terms of x, yeah, minus 3 over 4 plus 5x.